Welcome to Electro Online, and now the next this video and maybe a few more, we're going to learn how to graph polar equations. Now, this is probably a better layout to graph polar equations than the xy coordinate system. So here we still have the y-axis and we still have the x-axis, but notice that we have little circles on here, starting from the origin, and the radius of each circle is one unit, two units, three units, four units, and so forth. We also have something that kind of looks like a spider web, where we have lines associated with angles relative to the positive x-axis. So this angle right here could be considered to be theta divided by six, and this angle right here would be, equal, oh, not theta, but pi. Uh, let me correct that here. Uh, what I meant to say was pi divided by 6, this would be pi divided by 4, and then this angle right here would be considered uh, pi divided by 3, and so forth. So we have radii, this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, and that would then be the angle. So the first equation that we have is a fairly straightforward one. Notice that it only specifies r, the distance from the origin, to be 2.5, and no specification for theta, so theta can be any value, which means this is simply a circle with radius 2.5. So it's between 2 and 3, so the circle right here would be representative, or the graph of the equation r equals 2.5. Now the second equation we have is theta equals pi divided by 3. Notice we have no specification for the distance r, but we are given the specification of the angle pi divided by 3, which is this angle right here. Since r is not specified, that means that we can then take on any value of r in both directions away from the origin. So this line here is represented of the equation theta equals pi divided by 3, uh, by three yes, and this right here is the equation r equals 2.5. So that's how we grab those equations, kind of analogous to when we have x equals a number or y equals a number, we have straight lines. Here we have circles, and so a circle for r equals a constant, and a straight line for theta equals a particular angle. And that's how we grab those simple polar equations.